for the finals of the Canadian Nationals um, Star Wars Destiny Tournament. I'm Shane Room once again, and I'm joined by... Hi there, I'm John Gobey from Starkiller Base. I just got knocked out in the top four, so I'm coming to commentate the finals with Shane. <laughs> Uh, and here we are. We have the um, Rainbow FN a rain, um, mirror match uh, yes, between sir. Brian and John Hitchin. And we got John representing Canada and Brian representing America. And apparently the uh, the finals of Game of Thrones is going to be a, a, a grudge match like that as well with the Canadian and American. The invaders. It's, oh, well, you know, War of 1812. We won the only war against them. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, in this match, like, what are you looking at as key points, John, as, an, as a Rainbow FN player yourself well, between the, in the mirror? Um, normally what I do is, is like, if I get chosen to go first and I've got a, um, wow, friends in low places, I'll play it first to get rid of Boundless or Enrage. Uh, John's list doesn't actually have friends in low places because he says it's garbage. Uh, every time I played friends in low places on him, he didn't have Boundless in his hand, so I guess he was right in that case, but... That's weapon space you're using up with your friends. That's right. That's right. Well, there sure isn't a lot of die on the deck, so. Yes, sir. Okay, so what do we got in the opening hands? We got a oh, some pretty decent Friends money. Friends the places there, Aftermath, logistics. Zip 6, Logistics, and a lot of the Logistics. That's a good starting so hand for Brian, I think. If he can get the Logistics off, then yes. And it's pretty easy to do with Ballast Focus. Mm -hmm. When you reroll re -re two Ballad Dice, you're hitting a Focus or a Resource yeah. pretty often. So. And the Aftermath early, of course, great in a 3. It can be. I mean, it depends. If, if you don't get the... Uh, Oh, there we go. So there you go. Well, friends it gets, and low. It gets a, you know, like yeah. Well. It's, a, it's not a very good. I don't know. It's, it's not a very good starting hand for John. I mean, he can play a vibrant knife out and hope to hit a resource oh, and then over yeah. it. So it's not bad. I mean, it's like a mini balance, but it takes your whole hand. Yes. Uh, obviously, the, getting the shields is a big deal, and John knows to protect Balatique because he is the secret tech in the deck. <laughs> so John and I were having some some pretty impressive uh, Night Sister reroll offs first turn in our matches. Night Sister. Poor Night Sister. Yeah, Nobody so ever kills her but herself. I guess she, 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 she takes much. pride in that. Pretty much. So John's probably going to go for Bala. <clears throat> there we go. Damage. Overwrites with more ambush. So we see more action <coughs> coming from FN here. Uh, hits the pay Two for one. Hits the pay side. He, he, uh, he does not have He forgot money. to pay for the Vibrant. Vibrant yeah. So that's what Bala's for. Bala fixes stuff. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's no additional economy in his hand. Oh, there's that's focus. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is really good. So he could focus Night Sister into a resource and go to town. Yeah. Five the damage. problem is yeah. that Brian can then ping the, the resource. His own Night Sister, yeah. So we'll see. Night Sister duels. I mean, the Night Sister coming in with a two. There we go. A blank. So we got logistics there. So the train is starting, although I don't think Brian had a lot of weapons. Much to play, yeah. He'll be set up for turn two, but uh, turn one, less so. We've got the Riot Control Baton, yeah. which is a good start. Definitely. The only problem with... with you uh, don't want to override it. Exactly. With Rainbow, you, you want the Riot Control Baton to be the last, last thing there, but yes. he's got another logistics. He could have a Riot Control Baton. Well, next turn he'll have another three five resources if he doesn't on top spend of anything, so he could just leave it, right? Yeah, so it's a pretty good start for Brian there. I was picking the Night Sister for a reroll. And coming up blank. Blank, double blanks. Be interesting to see who Brian's going for. I mean, he must have been doing something right all day. Looks like the um, <coughs> Night Sister taking the Stormtrooper roll. So he, he missed and then he re rolled, then he um, got a blank. Yeah. Lots of blanks all around here. Um, so John's got one card left. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nice to focus the the Night Sister to a two, but then hit Brian's Night Sister just starts re rolling it. Right. And it's, it's kind of a losing battle because if it was 50 50 on damage, it'd be great. But 33%? Oh, he's got two cards. But he can also hit the resource. <coughs> so he focuses to two. He's True. got two sides. Three sides. Yeah, that's not terrible. Him. He would resolve the resource and then have the four. Or is he just going to try to go for bases on two dice? Well, the, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd reroll the plus two as well. The, the Holdout Blaster has 50% damage sides, but one's modified, one's pay. So. Yeah. Second focus, two. okay. Well, it's, uh, and the plus two, so we can put a kink in the trying to reroll Night Sister, or at least cause a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, so we roll in, we see Night Sister getting uh, a resource um, for Brian, which given to play the logistics, and has not the best result, not terrible. Um, he will be down in damage most likely after this turn. We'll see how the Night Sister rerolls go. 
John's considering what to do with those two focuses. He's got an additional card he could reroll if he wants, but or he could start trying to force Night Sister rerolls. Yep. Yeah. And if it hits, if it hits a damage side, then life's good. Then he just goes. Yeah. Not today. Discard. He can focus it again. Yeah, not what he's looking for. Or Night Sister damage it. Yeah. I'd, I'd use the focus and then force uh, Brian then, to just keep taking and then damage. Use that right? option, yeah. Oh, F FN hasn't rolled in yet. He might, he might get a, a one range on that side. Eh, it's a one, one something. <coughs> so. I'd still focus. Imagine he's gonna. Yeah, he's got time to play the aftermath. Yeah. So I think he's well, no one's no one's in danger of dying this turn anyway. I don't think it really matters. Just get out of your hand though. Extra card draw. Yeah. Get more weapons. But I mean, with with two blanks and a resource there. Yeah. I think he had a legit. Did he have logistics in his hand, I think? Or did he play both of them? He's already? logistic in his hand. Yeah. I, I would just focus the Night Sister to a two and make him... No, nope. oh, that's not bad, too. Killing, yeah. I mean, it's, it costs him a resource and a reroll, so it's yeah. not terrible. But FN hasn't rolled in yet, but... But he's not going to be getting the Chon back, so... It's pretty big. Shield? Uh, AKA Night Sister reroll. Hmm. Well, this is the problem now, right? In resolving that... The discard, it was, no, it was I mean probably a good call. That's, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but getting rid of the discard is good, but it makes it less likely that you're going to get. So focus that to a one, maybe? Or? Yeah. Okay. I'll focus to a dollar. Does Looking he have a three cost the in his hand, maybe? The dollars seem really innocuous in the Rainbow Nines deck, but they're essential. Like, oh, no. They're I agree when with I, you. When I was playing John, I, I got rid of his resources four times in the first round yep. and shut him down because I knew he had three costs in his hand. Oh, absolutely. I totally agree with you. Just the claim doesn't even bother with the shield. Pretty, uh, pretty slow turn one. Oh. Over rights. Okay. So I'm going to pay for that. He paid one. I think. Wasn't he? Yeah. Up? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Did you go for the reroll or did you just take it? Is the question. Uh, with a one third chance and it's the first round, well, I mean, a, money's not going to hurt yeah. you. Just take the, just take the dollar. The damage yeah, I mean, and move on because you can drop another three cost <coughs> resource with that dollar. Yeah, this is in Funkar where if you roll the three, you, yeah. you can. Uh, oh, I guess Brian's hands in game, but yeah, there's a resource. Yeah. So this is pretty even first turn. I mean, Brian's got three damage on his guys, same amount of resources and weapons, and uh, John's got some shields. So yeah, yeah, he's up by. I wouldn't yeah. say anybody's in a, a distinct no, advantage certainly here. go anyway because you know. Got some potential resources in the aftermath. Yeah, it's still a very even first round. Yeah. And in terms of crucial cards, I don't think anyone played anything There's that was... There's friends and low. Yeah. On no Brian's one, side no one played anything. Like, there was no balance. <coughs> lost. There's nothing crucially lost. I'm hoping they can't hear us from here. Uh, no. No one's been into it all day. There's, There's friends and low. In between. And the flank that nobody ever plays. You never want to play flank. And the problem is that you usually have to flank when it's an FN die and you can't because he either yeah. rolls it in instantly or he's got as many yeah. guys ready as you do. Brian disagreed. He got rid of the flank over that he doesn't like you, which is interesting because he doesn't like you was just as likely to control and is free. Yeah, I, w I, w I would have definitely gotten rid of the he doesn't like you because at least he has to pay for it. Yeah. And I, I find that uh, flank doesn't work all that well in this in, the, yeah, in this in matchup. Mirror, yeah. Especially with FN. If you, if you don't have any weapons in your hand, you have to roll somebody in and then you got to wait until your opponent's rolled in two characters in order to actually get a, a flank off, if you even have any money. Well, that comes in. Rolls in for two for pay, so he's the option of doing it. He's doing okay for money, if he does, just to get it back on. Yep. I mean, he's got a second aftermath in his hand, so it's certainly... No. Double aftermath early is just with, disgusting. Yeah, with he's gonna be no shortage of money. Um, <clears throat> so he's by put a game. rocket launcher with no money. Yeah. Well, he rolled a blank anyway, so <laughs> <Just> no <laughs> real loss there. I guess. Maybe he's planning to kill the knight sister with rerolls, and then he has a dollar. Maybe two dollars. That's fair. Value. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got plenty of time to reroll that rocket launcher. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Plus two. Mal is John, John's crazy also working some games on stream. Like oh, yeah. Mal's been rolling hot. Yeah, I had one game where I I had double aftermath trigger three times and Balor ready twice. Oh my god! It was just devastating. Horrible. Well, you know, when you get a 
probably the most undercosted character in Awakenings and the most undercosted character <laughs> in Spirit of Rebellion together. Good things happen. Yeah, if you could fit. Wow, double. That battle is not hot. No. So only one, the real ballads showed themselves. So it's now, now you wish that you ran Feel Your Anger in, yeah. in your rainbow deck. <laughs> There's an aftermath. Yeah. Just in case. So I still don't think anybody's close dying to dying. is good all around. Oh, see your aftermath. Raise you an aftermath. There <laughs> we go. There's a, a one range for that plus two. Uh, yep, the one range, yep. He's got no money. Yeah, roll that, yeah. There we go. Oof, it worked out. Solid re-roll. John, I find John has very good luck with dice. <laughs> what you find? Why he? I find the same about you, Joe. I'm uh, happy with that. <laughs> uh, so Ballas is in some real danger here, given that Night Sister still has to roll in. Yeah, Night I'm actually, got lots I'm of actually health. surprised that like that FN die has one in six range damage size. I'm surprised that he didn't ping his Night Sister to re-roll yeah. it. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that would that would save him three damage. Because so now he can pop the three. John, John needs to resolve this three right now into Balatique before he gets. Don't get fancy, man. Just roll. Just do the three before the night before the night sister goes. Yeah, because he doesn't. There's no chance of another modifier coming. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. I mean, John's night sister's still around, but still. So Bala has three damage left on him now. On yep. Brian's side. Significant. And more money. And he and Brian's opted not to go for Bala. He's, He's opted to go for a, FN, and FN's already got two redeploys. Yeah. So. FN is if you can get him down before he gets a lot of upgrades on him. Yeah. Then it's fantastic, but. When you kill FN and he's got six resources yeah, worth of resources. It's already upgrades. too late. I Bala mean, just goes nom nom nom, kills your Bala, kills the Night Sister, readies again, readies again. Yeah. There's that focus for the uh, rocket launcher now. So, John. He still needs the money. Oh, he got has, the money. John has it, he doesn't like you because you got rid of the flank, right? Yep. So, here comes, here comes the focus to the rocket launcher, and then John just goes, well, Don't you wish that you got rid of my he doesn't <laughs> like you instead? And there's a disrupt. That's it's just disrupt. as good, too. Double. Yeah. Double whammy on the uh, rocket launcher potential. Yes, sir. Uh, can't really see Brian's hand. I don't know if he can overwrite the rocket I'm launcher. I'm not sure he has a hand, does he? Oh, yeah. You think he... Oh, yeah, that's right. You dumped the whole thing. Yeah, that's pile. So John's FN is at four. That's it so far? That's... Uh, yeah. I think, I think John needs to disrupt that resource right now. Just to make it easier, right? Like I guess yeah. you could go for damage on the Night Sisters. One of the more likely sides to do it, but with Bala and the but if you just lightsaber, you could just reroll. With nothing in hand, disrupting. I mean, you can wait for the focus, right? But yeah, well, there's no yeah. rerolls either, so I guess it's kind of a move. But the regardless. thing is, if if Brian pings the disrupt, mm -hmm. then I mean, John still got the he doesn't like yeah. you, but yeah, then I guess he could then. focus and claim, or yeah. Some, sometimes I wonder why the Rainbow deck doesn't run uh, Rebel War Room instead. Mm. Yep, no, totally. When you're, you're re-rolling and you're like, oh, I wish I had a resource, you just go claim. Generally, your opponent claims. Yeah, and, that's the thing. I think it's just so rare to claim. Because yeah. FN's slow, three characters are slow. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to have like an ambush weapon that rolls in with a pay side, yeah. and that's not happening. Okay, so John is heavily considering uh, what to do here. Take the shield, he's picking up the shield. Grab the shield, okay. That's interesting. I, I would have kept that lightsaber out. If you roll the focus on Bala when you're looking to kill something, then the two unblockable to, to Bala's pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know if he's what's in his hand that he's holding on to. I don't think John's worried about that one there. Wow. I would just two shields on Night Sister too, so very little overall damage. He doesn't like you. Yeah, you're the Night Sister guy. Oh, he's got the disrupt for the. Yeah, he's still got the disrupt. That's fair. It looks like John's not trying to kill. He's playing defensively this turn. Yeah. He's got the lead, right? At least in damage. Yeah, I was going to say, John's got to see this. You don't... Now, the only thing that he can do is. <laughs> he, he could ping his Night Sister six times in Aftermath, but it's probably a bad plan. <laughs> Give John a resource and ready Valtique again. I, I wouldn't be overriding those those weapons when FN is obviously the target, so I think that's a good yeah. good call to stop it. Leave it, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, just, you know, a turn without three or four FN triggers is, is not the end of the world. It may seem like it to an FN player, but... Uh, yeah, if they ever uh, send an enrage in there on Brian's side. Enrage is... Enrage is... is it's not I mean, he's really got a lot of two-cost upgrades, turn but one enrage if, he has to, is, is great. If, if he has to pay the... 
you have to pay like a cost. You can surprise with it, I guess. Yep. I would have been tempted uh, to yeah, roll in. This? I would have tempted to put that two on on ba- the uh, hold that buster on Bala and roll him in just yeah. to get his dice in. Because if John, yeah. if John whiffs, then Bala lives. But I mean, like, I, how many FN die die weapons you need? have one damage on yeah. them? I mean, there's a there's a hold that blaster and a viper knife maybe, but the viper knife will go right through the shields. So, yeah. so John, pass. No oh, ambush action. Ambush oh, action. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. Yes, of course, because he took the shield. Yeah. Another more chance for uh, rage. I can take another shield, like a little more annoying to kill Bala, but you're right. I think can, if John's got a diamond in his hand, he's, he's just giggling on. about the yeah. shields right now. Yes. Like the two unblockable on the on the uh, lightsaber, lightsaber yeah. will just be. A, don't you wish you put those shields on FN? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a four upgrade up here. Yeah, like. The economies are so good in the in like with the alternate economies and these. Oh, yeah. uh, du- this, double this, he's not even gonna need the double aftermath money. money. It's all loaded. It's gonna start loading the night sister soon. But he doesn't have any money right now for paying for no, rocket launchers and stuff. No, that's true. So. He'll get it from Bala. He isn't a rage. Was that two enrages for John? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. He's got an aftermath. I guess he wants to load. I don't know. Load Bala. It's not terrible. Well, part of me wants to put a holdout blaster on Balotic early just so that when he reactivates, you get more value out of yep. it. But, I mean, FN is giving you double, double activations already, on it already, so. so might as well keep it there, right? And like you said, I think I, I do agree. I think Balotic is definitely know. secret sauce here, and you right. want to draw as much attention from him as possible. So Brian has clearly said, I will pay for these sides. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. I mean, even even pinging to reroll the holdout blaster, they got a 50% chance of hitting the sides. Yeah. Yes, Hal, this is the finals. This is game one of three. So he opts not to do it. I mean, the rocket launcher might have been worth. Oh no, I guess 50-50 damage. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point. I, you can, and it can and get I, worse. That's right. Yeah. I mean, at worst, it'll be two damage to each character uh, or two characters, which isn't good. So he's only taking he's only taking two resources. Okay. I'm. Well, he wants to keep. He got a. He doesn't like you in his hand. Fair enough. But so does. Oh yeah, we, I guess we haven't seen John does, but so 50% of this die side will kill Bala and make him regret not taking that three resource. That is not one of them, though. Oh, the rocket launcher. Yeah. Yeah. Gets gets through the damage first. Yeah. So uh, FN is it nine? I think. Yep. yep. So if we can get you know. So if John. A miracle night sister. John's got a flamethrower in hand there, so he could re-ro- re-roll that in. He has the four, the guy dies. Yeah. No problem, Hal. Thanks for coming and watching. It's kind of loud here. The Game of Thrones finals is on the other side of the monitor. Yeah, so you know like all about four for one on the, on the, on the uh, oh. flamethrower, right? Jamie, I, I'm not in the finals because John got me. It was a close match. There's an F. Why not the rocket launcher? He wrote, he wrote, I mean, I guess. Well, it's more consistent. He wants, he wants to keep his die sights. Yeah. I mean, that's, if Balotic doesn't die right now, so I think John needs to roll in here and try to kill Balab. Yeah. I mean. Well, he's going to take the dollar regardless. But. <clears throat> See, this, that's not the right call there. I, it's not going to kill Bala. One, one in six will kill Bala. Yeah. And if you roll FN, you get a, a better chance to do it. <clears throat> but not instantly. No, but it takes the resource and then. Yeah. So. Oh, but you're right. You, get, you get to resolve it because 50, he's 50 not shot, dead. Yeah. Fifty-fifty shot if he pings that night sister. Does he have a redeploy in there? If he does, that'd be pretty good. Oh, there we go. He's at four. I mean, it, FN's dead either way. Yeah. What are you going to do? See, the thing is, if you had just rolled in. But he wants. But Bala will get to reactivate. I mean, if he can hit this, at least he stops a Bala. No, I mean, not that that Bala's not scary, but yeah. There we oh, go. Oh, he pings, 50, 50. pings the nice sister. Yeah. Stops the kill. Well, that's the thing is, if he had rolled in FN, he could be, instead of overriding with a flamethrower, he could use the flamethrower I mean, to reroll four, oh, four dice. Right? He rolls with rage. Uh, that's enough. Yep. So absolutely. he's back to back to night sister taking the hit for. <laughs> And then his night sister gets to go bad hit. real fast, though. 
Wow. RNG, man. He's got a uh, an he F11D can, and he doesn't like your hand. He definitely can chuck the F11D. I mean, he doesn't have the money to put it on Bowen now. Or he, he can overwrite it. But, like, it's got, yeah, it's got one no side. side the, yeah. the two for one will kill. Oh, back to. Don't do it, John. Just ride off into the sunset with Evan, man. <laughs> Leave the nice sister alive. Roll her in with the redeploy. You can put the flamethrower down on her, too, if you wanted to, because he's going to aftermath the resource. The, yep. ni- the nice sister will be able to rip off. Rift Balotique's face off. Oh, but you know what? If <coughs> Balotique does die, he gets two resources. He can put the F11D. Oh, he, he tossed it for re-roll, but he could have put it on the Night Sister yeah. still to roll in. He got it. I don't get it. Why did he re Oh, the Night Sister ping. Yeah. Well, he redeploy all of the Night Sister. Yeah. And now we see if John remembers his aftermath. Balorettis, okay. Aftermath. Aftermath. And if, if, Bala, if Brian's Balor rolls in and Luxex a one and a one or a one and a two then the Night Sister's in trouble but the Night Sister's gotta come in too there's a three for one that'll do it he's got five damage showing on there oh and yeah and he's got no he's, he doesn't like you potential because he's got no dice uh, Night yeah. Sister damage on a, on what you could a two oh he doesn't uh, yeah, oh no there's a, well there's a plus and an unblockable that's true yeah I would have done it on the baton. yeah that was a bad yeah. call so Bala dies through the shields that's the best value <laughs> yeah <laughs> <clears throat> It's still looking like it's in Brian's favor, though. Uh, yeah, because FN... Ah! Uh, Bala goes down, Bala readies. Get a get two damage on FN. Or the Night Sister Shields on Bala. I'm not sure. I'm not you, sure about this one. I think it's still pretty open. You can actually uh, ping the Night Sister, your own Night Sister twice after resolving her dice to kill her and yeah. redeploy yeah. the, so ni- the we're, stuff we're up Bala. to four off, uh, <coughs> six, six, six credits off Aftermath this round. Off Aftermath? Yeah, I was going to say, play it out on Bala. Yeah, Aftermath is doing some work. That's the pro- <laughs> problem. is, if Ben doesn't need them now, he's already decked out. That's true. I would just I would resolve the two in Bala. Yeah, Bala, two, no modif- roll back in. There's I mean, no modified range damage. He, he's so. pretty good chance to kill the Night Sister this turn, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And then ready and, again? And the thing, the thing that's cool about it is that the Night Sister is the target right now, too. So go ahead and ping yourself, right? All yeah. that's fine. I don't mind. And John may want to kill his own night sister. The question is, is he gonna? I, I'm trying to figure out if oh he claimed okay. Oh, it kills his own night sister just to get the redeploys over? Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm I'm trying to figure out. I, I'm pretty sure that, that based on the wording of night sister, you can actually kill her even if there's no dice. Oh wow, my god. Wow. Well, he'll be killing her. Oh, it's too late. That was awful. That was something. <laughs> Brian needed that. Absolutely. That with was, no that dice was, for reroll. But, I mean, we got a battle with 10 life versus, yeah. I mean, that sister doesn't have much, and there's no damage coming this round from... Well, FN can take away that 10 life Oh, it's fast, re-rolling. So. One damage for one resource. If anything, you roll, re-roll a ballad die, but he's only got one hit point left. It's not a good call. The ballad die only has I one base just, side. Yeah, but you or can focus. hit focus, yeah. right? Like, four of the six sides are usable at least, yeah. but he only had one hit point left on the Night Sister, so. Okay, so we go into the round with uh, six credits on one side, two on the other. Six to four. Six to four, sorry, six to four. Everyone's got plenty of money. Yeah. But neither player really needs it. It's for pay sides now. Oh, that can hurt. John put out some knucklers and discarded like three cards from my hand. Action one is brutal. I think he really just wants the, the damage. There it is. But he hits it. Three. Take away three cards. It's great. I mean, if FN, if FN is dead, it's less interesting. Yes. Because weapons, but I mean, I'm but sure. But he had money to pay for it. I'm he sure would have played the IQA something. Or the whole of Blaster beating great on Bala. It's got the ambush action. <coughs> Drop in, overwrite. Yeah. Overwrite, potentially kill the Night Sister. Yeah, or see an FN. The special be all right. Swing this. 50-50 here. We saw some Bala grossness last round with the restart. Right. There FN's it fighting is. Back. Perfect roll. Yeah. But Bala's, Bala's pretty happy now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just, you know, nine. Nine resources worth of upgrades. Well, that, the Night Sister's toast. And yeah. then Bala readies up against, uh, hey, hey, what's up, buddy? One damage. Yeah, yeah. you got to get the one damage from Yep. 
But FN has yet John's to roll in too, so he could go through nine. He could go through nine yeah. life. They both have balance in their hands, it looks like, which is not good for uh, John. But they can both I mean, use. He's got to reroll. It's just for rerolls for him to get max damage each yeah. time, right? That's not bad. That's a dead knight sister if he doesn't ping it. Two. That's a dead nice sister whether he pings it or not. Because if he pings yeah, the lightsaber, pings then he just two. hits him with the two. Yeah. And I think and he, is, had, he, has, he doesn't like it, but he's got no dice. No, yeah, because he used the ambush up. <clears throat> but this could be it right here. Yeah. He's got too many dice in there. There we go. He's going to say the hold up blaster. He had a hold up blaster instead of a no, rocket launcher. missing a dice, though. Yeah. I didn't see the rocket launcher. I was trying oh, to figure why he was rerolling. Not getting tight the level of damage that he wants, that's for sure. Yeah, but he killed the Night Sister, put two into FN, re reactivate Balatique. Oh, for sure. Uh, I just Brian didn't get what he, the yep. amount he, he needed because now. Yep, and John's got the capacity to focus the flamethrower to a four. A four to roll again. I don't know why he's not resolving the, the uh, Z6 as well, though. There's no... Well, I guess there's a plus two on the the uh, lightsaber but yeah. perfect okay. perfect that's yeah, fine but now, now he can focus the flamethrower to four before and FN yeah. he's got the money for it Jeez. well absolutely um, I'm just thinking of uh, Brian's options here so I mean he needs he wants to do nine damage this turn he, okay. I don't know where it's going to come from right he can yeah. get three four no he can do it he's got the money right he just needs to reroll a lot well, he can do 10 with the 4 dice, or 11 yeah. with the 4 dice that he had. But 11, yeah. So, now he's getting to, like, I need two specific sides. Like, yeah. or... Don't re-roll, uh, Johnny. Two oh, sides. Balance. Okay, two sides Oof, scared me. Balance, uh, re-rolls. Sorry, Jonathan, I didn't see your chat there. Are you... Uh, John, John Chan and I played each other in the Swiss, and I beat him. And then in the top four, we faced each other again. He was actually 17th seed, and the... Um, the 16th or 14th or somebody dropped out and John got to come in so and then John upset the first place player in the top 16. The, yeah, the uh, boss and, not And ups upset me in the top four. <laughs> so, yeah, he came from 16th all the way to second. That's yep. very good, very awesome yep. performance by John. Here comes so we see a rocket launcher over top of the baton. Uh, they rolled in and got two damage. It's not enough. Special. Uh, Did he have boundless? Yeah, he had boundless. So he's there balancing. Go. So, yeah, and he's got two more on the this table. So he needs to come up with three. This is a race now. And... I mean, Ford FN. FN, yeah. Ford FN. Uh, yeah, so he needs seven, and he needs to roll in to get it. So there's knucklers for think ambush, if, if IQA. I'm, if I'm John, I'm rolling in Balotique next action. I don't. You don't have time. You don't. You don't need the resource. What do you need the resource for? You don't, well, you want to resolve the die, but you, oh, don't, have, you yeah. don't have time. Yeah, he has one with that massive pile of money they have now. So this is oof, three damage. I mean, you can get that off rerolls hey, if you it's, want. It's destiny, hell. Yeah. You're, Dice, dice tell you what happens. You just don't get outplayed, and you don't make any mistakes, and, you're, and that's the best you can do. He doesn't get what he wants on the IQA, but you know it was a lot, not many sides, two sides. That's all he wanted. You gotta roll in. He's got rerolls. He's got four rerolls in hand. Three rerolls. Yes, winner. The top 16 you people showed up. They paid 16 bucks for parking, and then eight of them went home an hour after they got there. That's uh, uh, that's, that's three. That's enough. Yeah, that's it. John did, oh, did Next John take action. the resource? Next action. Does he have something here? He, can you flank it? That might be it. I mean, John's deck has very few control cards, right? Yeah, he's rolling There's only five. It's yeah. game over. He's only got three points left. So. Yeah. He should very be taking close. the resource. I mean, seven is... That's the thing. That's the great thing about this battlefield, right? Is Bella, if Bella rolled in well... Yeah, he could just he could, he could claim on the second action, and that would be that. But but no, that's, not even close. Not enough roll. damage. Yeah. That's, that's enough for the kill. Yeah. Okay, so very close uh, first game, actually. Personally, I, I know that I played Rainbow Nines, but I'm, I'm going to be very happy to not see any more Rainbow Nines. <laughs> yes. Because, uh, Same with I don't this like game the with Netrunner. Everyone's looking forward to the new meta. Yeah, for sure. It's always nice to see, especially something as young as Destiny, right? Um, yes. Seems like we've been dealing with Awakening Spirit, Spirit of Rebellion for a long time now. <laughs> yeah, really, it, it hasn't been that long, but... Yeah, it, it's weird, because it's only like three or four months, but I find that... You know, when it gets to be the last 
month before the new set comes out, people just start, they just stop coming to, yeah. to uh, yeah. game nights and stuff. Yeah, I found that too. We're both kind of LCG veterans, so we used to like a new pack every, yeah, exactly. every month. It doesn't move the meta a ton, but it moves it, right? Every, it moves you know. it steadily, yeah, exactly. Or especially, it just gives people a false sense that it's changed. Yeah, and especially with, in, you know, in, in Conquest, it was a new warlord which changes an entire deck, or with... Uh, New IDs and yeah, new IDs in Netrunner, new strongholds in L five R will be stuff like that. If we new see, you think, drones. I mean, not to digress too far, but you think we'll see new strongholds every pack? You think they'll continue it or I don't know if it'll not be, be as pack, but yeah? Because yeah, in Conquest and, and and Netrunner was, but that's a lot of. I mean, I don't know. Strongholds seem a little more unique, but maybe not than IDs. Eh, I don't know. I how mean, many they, forts can you have running around Roku Gun after all? Well, they, they <laughs> dictate they dictate how you build your deck, right? Well, absolutely. I'm just but, mean from the fluff. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's actually a good point, yeah. <laughs> my my crane clan has seven strongholds now because we're just that badass. <laughs> I mean, you would think you have a bunch, but I don't know if you, yeah. have, you know, after a couple cycles, it's like yep. the map is just stuffed with strongholds. <laughs> so it looks like John gets his shields again, which is obviously the right choice when everyone's playing the same battlefield. So yeah, we'll see. Oh, and absolutely, everything. you're yeah. in no rush. I mean, the other one of these decks, they all take ten actions before they claim. It's just, I mean, it, all, it just all comes down in this kind of match. It comes down to the rolls. You know, like the the alpha rolls with FN when you play at a weapon. I mean, you, I guess they don't get they don't get controlled much in in this particular yes, matchup this when you got like matchup. five die control cards. Even FM are pretty immune to control. That's partly why it's so great, right? Yeah, but I mean, if if I'm sitting on he doesn't like you and you roll in you roll in and you hit a blank, it's gone. Yeah. If you roll in a four, I'm dead, right? It's that's the one thing that bothers me the most about Destiny. Like even with Cad Bane and. Um, Sabine now it's, yes. it's all alpha strikes you're rolling yep. well you kill a guy just like with Luke Ray right it has been for a while you, yeah. you roll a shield and a, and a, a blank and you're <laughs> another day at the <laughs> office sad, you know? yeah. uh, focus on Luke is the worst I think <laughs> yep uh, see that's why you run friends in low places yep get rid of the balance the nice oh uh -huh. that yeah balance and enrage would have been a great starting hand uh, logistics too and a two cost and a three cost that's it's almost the perfect starting hand, but look, you see here, I mean, Brian's got a balance, balance, and John does not. But no way to get the extra money, I think, to fuel the balance. Did he even have any upgrades in it? I don't think I he think did. I think he had two three costs. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Might work. I'm not sure. I saw, we'll see, yeah. I saw. I think there was two upgrades in there. Yeah, I'd be amazed that if a five, five, five cards from a, a Rainbow FN deck didn't yeah. have an upgrade. Exactly, yeah. That, uh, that's not a very good die tray, is it? Oh, logistics too. So the enrage, the logistics, and the boundless. Yes. Wow. And a, and a two cost and a three cost. I mean, he'll, he'll probably. Friends and low pace is paid for itself there. Yeah, for sure. Being zero, hard yes. not to. <laughs> it costs a card. <laughs> so now, is that a di that's a discard Dis side? So you yeah. play something. Hope to get the resource and then override it with the th or put the three cost out there. Yeah, right. I mean, if somebody took the resource, wouldn't you just dis do the discard? Well, it's an am if if you roll in the resource on the holdout blast, oh, it's, it's an, an ambush, ambush action, right, and then you right, yep. then you don't have to worry about. But right now, I'd be I'd be ambush actioning that three into Bala before the nice sister pings the one. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, you got you got a 50-50 shot or, of hitting or, range damage, no, but you know he's got four cards in hand. Yeah. There's a decent chance that there's actually something to be done. Hallerith, we're just looking for uh, somebody from VTTV, and we'll get we'll get him out of here. Oh, uh, wait a second, the one. He did the one, but not the plus two? He wanted this as the ambush action instead. Oh, okay, to I do guess. the one. I mean, there's plenty yeah. of range damage coming, I guess. I'm not sure, I would I would have probably resolved that as, yeah. a, as a three, but he didn't want to lose the, the his other, only other weapon. On the discard, yeah. On the discard, so yeah. it's not a bad call. Victor. Yeah, uh, chat, we're, we're working on that. We'll get our technical person who, who knows how to do that to, to do it. Not really, just a guy needs to be banned. Okay. Okay, focus into the two on the Night Sister uh, to get some damage flowing back the other way. Even things up. It's an interesting spread of damage uh, <laughs> on Brian's side. One each. Yeah, it's only four, though. Yeah. It's not a big deal, really. Nope. It's not a particularly great roll. No, I meant to uh, damage one damage in each oh, character. One. <laughs> this is game two. Brian. So he doesn't like you, the base. Good use. One damage for three. Looks like. 
You know, this being the first turn, that uh, resource is good. Yeah, the knight's sister even is still so there, bad. too. So. sister can come in, beat herself up to try to get that four damage. Aftermath. <laughs> yeah, I so got banned, two, Hal, sorry. <laughs> so, with, so with two resources, do you, um, oh. you don't balance this turn, I think. Oh. It, no, absolutely not. You yeah. can't even pay for one of them. Yeah, so. I had, in my last game against John in the top four, I was sitting on a balance for two turns because I just couldn't get it off. He vibro knuckled my weapons half the time. It was, yeah. it was weird. Oh, it's gonna go. Yeah, it's going for it. It's certainly worth a couple shots, I think, to try to get this damage. Yep. I mean, no one cares about nice sisters anyway, so. Nope. I mean, could hit the balance the other way this time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it. Maybe it's in Get there. It. Maybe it's in there. No. no. Well, it's, I would take the, three, the, the flame throw as well. But yeah. Either one of those hits is good. The balance would be much, much better. But yeah. So John, John's got a pretty serious yeah, econ economic advantage here. John's going to six, right? Uh, you know, he no, just got back to four, four, but he's already got but four, four costs for upgrades. upgrades yeah. So looks like Brian's got a logistics and an, another friends in low another places. Friends in low places. Let me get the second balance. That's Nuts. okay. Oh, no. that's okay. Here, here's what's gonna happen. Vibro knucklers, discard three. <laughs> just watch, just watch. John loves it. He hit, hit me. I was like, no, don't do it. You got me. Boom. Knucklers are good. I mean, three costs with discard well, damage yeah. and ambush. I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to discard. It's the fact that you have. It's one of the few weapons you have five sides that you can do something. Yeah, with, right? exactly. I, I pinged it with a night sister when it had one damage on it because it was <laughs> lethal on something, and I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Is it, oh, he's overriding, saving some money there. Yeah, I there's no point. He's yeah, got another four bucks. There's money coming. No, you you put out the knucklers, you roll it in, and then you overwrite that something else. Or something. Yep. yep, I agree. I, I don't think there's any reason to conserve money. Yeah. Really, I would have I would have the knucklers in to try to hit. Like he's got yeah. four resources, and he's got a full hand of cards or four cards. Well, I guess he wants the knucklers second. I guess, but like, if you can hit the weapons out of Brian's hand yeah. without him having a chance to do it, yep. why not, right? I guess if he wants to leave the knucklers out, then sure. Interesting. I guess he doesn't have three costs in hand. I don't think so. so now, I don't didn't see one. Oh, it's a plus. So now two. the problem with, with this is that Brian has got the balance in hand, and John's going to roll out and hit a, potentially hit a discard and get rid of it, which will be save the day. It's a one discard. One I, discard. <laughs> yeah, pay. I don't know if you pay. It's tempting. I mean, you got a lot of upgrades already. You Knowing what I know, I would pay. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Knowing what's in his hand, yes. But I mean, even now, like, I if he's pay. got a three cost out there, get that balance. Get that balance. Get that balance. Oh. Logistics would be helpful for Brian right now. Why? Because he's not going to be able to play the balance. He can get it next well, turn. Yeah, that's the thing is, if he didn't pay for it, then he'd have balance and logistics, which is even better. And John wishes he'd hit the two side now. Uh, actually, TK4334, I, I personally think that Poe throwing a thermal detonator is the single most broken interaction in yeah. the game because I, I, it doesn't get rid of that three cost investment. So I, I, I agree. I'll be quite happy if Poe becomes vehicle only. Yeah. Um, no. Word has it that he was vehicle only in testing and they realized that there wasn't enough stuff for him to throw, so they made it that he can throw anything. And now that there's enough vehicles out, it's very easy for them to make it vehicles only again. And the deck will look different, but. Like thermals are just ridiculous. Nine damage for, for no money is uh, yeah. Yeah, even even or a thermal 12. on FN is is yeah. pretty rough, but you yeah. lose the investment. So oh, absolutely, and you keep um, I mean just it just it holds down a big portion of the meta like yeah, or it did. Get a one, get the nice sister in there. Or just <laughs> we're comparing really <laughs> kind of broken, semi broken characters here between FN and. Oh. <laughs> yep. But the game's young. I mean, you know. Oh, just just wait until somebody starts using the battlefield. The, the three cost w cards that you play get ambush, yeah. and then use FN with three cost ambush with boundless. Uh, okay, so good knight sister roll coming in. She's enabling four damage there. Uh, I would imagine to see some knight sister pings. Or this guy, he doesn't like he you. He doesn't like you. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna get rid of the FN die. The plus two. Okay. He value that over the blank. He's gonna overwrite it. Oh, well, FN's already showing damage, so. No, but he could have got the blank Night Sister die. The Night Sister is gonna be the one that connects to the plus two, probably. Yeah. Yep. But that was definitely a good call. 
You're gonna override a holdout blaster with uh, on there? Uh, yeah. that's, a, that's a good question, I am Hound. Welcome. I hope it's nice in Denmark today. Uh, I don't know if there is lists. Um, then again, uh, I think you could I mean, guess the contents of most of them. I mean, we have the deck lists, so technically there is. Uh, I think, I don't know if VTTV, are you guys planning on publishing any lists? Uh, apparently they're not planning on publishing any lists, so. Uh, and to be fair, as of tomorrow, they're useless anyway for the most part. Yes. Unless you're still stuck in a Spirit of the Rebellion meta like we are. I, I feel really relieved now that it's gone because I don't have to worry about it. So that's really interesting that, that modif the, the black on the F11, that's the only black side on it. So if John takes the uh, resource. Yeah, he's got four damage. He's, but the Night Sister will reroll and probably put it on a plus. Uh, or you can hit the special too, right? Or, um, yeah, you don't want the special right now though. No. Eh. I'll, I'll just put it on FN or something, I don't know. Yeah. Something. But I mean, you know, you essentially, yeah, I mean, you save two, but you end up taking three across. Okay. That's the one way to shake it off. So he's spreading out the damage from the special. There's the holdout. He's got no money to pay for it. But. Oh. When you when you play Rainbow against New Kylo with Captain Phasma, Balatik will be dead turn one, and the Night Sisters <laughs> will be dead turn two, and FN will just tuck himself into a ball and hide in the corner. It's disgusting. The amount of damage that deck can do is ridiculous. They're asking. Um, I, I mean, we'll see. Uh, we're in game two already, so I highly doubt it's going to be an hour and 20. This could be over in 15 minutes yeah. if uh, Brian wins this one. Yeah. And we're all right, so, when, is it most two games? What's that? Is it most two games, I was saying? And, and two more games, yeah. And this one's uh, half over, I would say, because we got some pretty big FNs. Oh, we got one big FN. Yeah, I was going to say. Deal out a lot of damage. It's, look, it's looking like John's going to probably take this yeah, one. Yeah, I would think. And go to game three, yeah. But we'll see. I mean, a boundless and a lot of weapons can fix a lot see, of things. I'd start pinging my night sister to reroll her die and have him ping his night sister to, to, to fix it. Yeah. And then if she gets to five, you just execute her with the with and the melee. Ballet, and ballet Actually, up. one reroll and that uh, the melee damage. If he pays one, will kill the. Well, oh, that sister. that was a great night sister reroll. Yep, I mean, absolutely. That's a dead night sister. If, if Brian pings his night sister, then the melee damage can kill the night sister and ready Bala again, because he can pay one for the vibro knucklers. Yep. So overwrite rival knucklers. Yeah. Okay. If he hits the two, oh, he's got no money. Because he could, he, well, he could have potentially killed the night sister. If he had a dollar. If he had a dollar, he could have killed the night sister. But oh, if he hit the two side, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not sure why he did that. But yeah, he kn he knows that he can't ping his night sister, but like that's uh, if it was on three dice, Balati could be could be dead by claiming. But. You can still, I'd still resolve the discard because you can do it whether your opponent has stuff in hand or not. And then when you roll in, you you got another. But I guess it doesn't matter because he's got enough cards in hand. But yeah. So he's gonna ready Bala with. Oh, he's got no cards in hand. So yeah, but. Winna, I would say that if you want to fix Maz, you can make it so that it's her character upgrade dice only. Yeah. I mean, it changes it changes it a lot with the intention, but definitely Poe is all right. And Maz is definitely the problem, but well, no. Poe with Emperor's Throne Room was always oh, yeah. felt pretty unfair too. He, right? hit, he hit FN with that. Interesting. Yeah, actually, that's really good. If he can kill FN, yeah, like he's with good. no redeploys. That's yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's game over. But he can't this turn, so I don't know how he's gonna get the damage to kill. No, him but he turn. can put him at eight, which means you throw yeah. in a, a rocket launcher or a Z6, and you, you're done. Yeah. Claims okay. There's no cards in hands. I mean, it's certainly what's interesting about these two, they do a lot with very few cards in hand, or no cards in hand, right? Yeah. I probably should just be more... Yep. Um, FN goes to eight. Yeah, that's not what you want to see is Brian. Definitely not. And John's FN, whatever he draws, is going to going to three costs. Yeah. I mean, the damage is like almost ten difference, right, between the two yeah. sides. Uh, six to... 
11, 13, 7 difference. But it's enough. It's when, yeah, when it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's a more nice than a quarter group. of your life. <clears throat> yep. And also the upgrades are like massively different. Five more resources on one side. Yep. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really kind of sad how they, they costed Phasma in the two-player box because she just opens up so many different possibilities and her, her, she's just so good. Like, if they made Poe a, a 9-13 and yeah. just took his focus down to a 1 and left the, like, same dice as Phasma, same hit points as Phasma and just different special, yep. that's fine. But this is just... I agree. And Phasma awesome. wasn't... The, the, the Phasma wasn't bad either. No. <laughs> it feels no. better Phasma. <laughs> yeah. So if John can do three damage with something like a rocket launcher, then FN is done and he saves himself four hit points. Yeah. Which is good. There's the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher comes so he's in. got a 50-50 shot of, doing, of yes. killing FN. And he wouldn't be too sad about the special either, I'm sure. Oh, no. that's a rocket launcher for you. <clears throat> so, yeah, Night Sister. Yeah, I can see. But on the other hand, he didn't... I mean, back in the Django days, you'd be greedy and roll in Bala first, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. That's the thing, is that you got him a dollar. Not that big a deal. Yeah. And of course... Yeah, it's not going to dig you out. Yeah, I'd roll in... I don't know, roll in FN here. I, I would roll in Bala, wouldn't I? Because he could possibly kill with... Well, just to get him in. Yeah. And it's really nice because neither Al, really FN or Bala are going to die anytime soon. Yeah, I mean he could, he could discard for reroll the rocket launcher, but it's it's not really ideal to discard. But if you get a focus re-roll. with Bala? Yeah, exactly. The Night Sisters there to ping it, but you don't want, yeah. you don't like pinging rocket launchers. Yeah. I mean, if he rolled the four and you had four hit points, sure, ping away. So but, yeah, in comes no. Bala. The damage. There's the rocket launcher. Nice. Over rocket launcher. Could help to equalize the damage here. So, like, I figure... Yeah, nope. Yeah, that's what you get, man. man. Blanks to blanks. Karma. That's what you get. Uh, looks like there'll be another one coming, I think. It's Could like be. dueling who hold can out hit. Hold out. If he gets the plus two, FN's dead. Yeah. Or the, the two pace side. There it is. Yep. Boom. Ambush action. Take out FN. Ready, Bell. All the resources gone. There's your no upgrades. Yeah. That's what happened to me in our game three. I saw one redeploy weapon all game long. And FN died with six six fast of non redeploy stuff on him. Yeah. It was awful. So he's got three, yeah. He put something on Valis, so he can do something, but all your money, that's harsh. Yeah, okay. Because what's the hope? Somehow you get enough damage to do a kill, ready ball again, ready ball no, again. No, there's, yeah. there's no pace as any of his dice now anyway, so. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you, get the, if you get the dollar, if you need a dollar, rather. Yeah, that's true. Yep, and the rest of his hand is pure reroll fodder. Rocket launcher, Unless you want to overwrite maybe for the redeploy. He's going after Bala, but even then, it's not. Hit a Z6 out there, Johnny. Oh, that's not bad. No, the rest of the hand could be gone. Potentially, yep. Nope. Or two damage on somebody. Yeah, Night Sister. With that uh, I mean, IQA out there, Bala is probably a good choice too. But yeah. two Night Sister with uh, two hit points left is pretty sweet. Well, he can because he can go Bala and then ready Bala again, right? Exactly. Yeah. He's not gonna kill Bala before Bala does his thing. Yeah. It's not bad. The thing is, he's so far from killing any on jo- anybody on yeah, John's side that it's just. You can't get the Bala activations. Yeah. And we got a whole FN to roll. I would in. just roll an FN here. Yeah. yeah. You need it. There's so many sides of those dice that will kill the Night Sister. Like 50 50 on the. There we go. Yeah, the, that'll oh, do wow. it. So he's got. That's right. He's oh, he, knocked, he knocked the lights well, He's got a dead Night Sister and three on Bala. With the Bala to still Well, the, the Night Sister again can ping the one. She's going to die anyway. No, but she can. She, yeah, keep you, the two. It, you ping the one on FN because you've only got one of six sides, right? Yep. Chances are it's not going to stay on the range. If it does, it could be a melee and then he, and then they die anyway, but... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, I think the one. He's got to keep that resource, so kill the Night Sister. But, uh, you know, I think it's a pretty good or chance Ballas that plus two is going to get resolved. The problem is Bala's still uh, ready right now, so oh, he get greedy and roll in Bala, maybe? Yeah, I, I think so. I think you're right. 
I mean, what's, he can't ping the Night Sister again. So. The thing is, though, it's it's one Bala die. Bala is like the cheapest character in the game, so is it really worth it? He's got, I guess, Brian's got well, no money though, so like, yeah. There's really and, no reason not and to. And either of those melee dice will kill the Night Sister, so take your time. You can put you can put Bala to, to six. No, he just opts to go. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no real need to get greedy, especially when you're down a game already. So it's no, two no more pings to re-roll, to re-roll yeah. now. So, like that plus two in the rocket launcher when you've got a pay side out, it's it's that's da- it's dangerous. It's pretty much over here. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I yeah. This battle's got to roll in. Two cards for rerolls. I mean, the rocket launcher plus plus two itself can yep, do it, right? Exactly. It's not quite enough. No. But I'll I would take it still gladly. IQA and a F11 in hand, it looks like. Sean keeps hitting that rock launcher die to something better. <laughs> yeah, I don't Bala, blame him, but... I was sitting on the one. Pew. Oh. Gunslinger. Yeah. And John's got two cards in hand. That's. Yeah. Bala's got two sides that'll kill him. There you go. That's a... Wow. Five. That's definitive. For the boot. Okay, we move to game three, then. So that's one for John and one for Brian. And we're going into the last round. That's, this is how it should be, a showdown in the mirror match in the finals. And I'm not, and I'm not just saying that because the I want the Canadian to win. <laughs> I don't know Brian, I'm sure he's a nice guy. John Chan is the, as of today at least, the current uh, Imperial Assault Canadian champion. He's gonna defend his title tomorrow. Oh, okay. If he ends up getting Imperial Double Assault and and, uh, and Destiny, I'm I'm not going to invite him over to 401 games anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, the man can roll dice, obviously. Yeah. So. <laughs> See, uh, Brian wants a little aftermath boost there, leaving on the table. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's still got. A... He's got an aftermath sitting on the table. I mean, I'm sure they'll notice. I would hope. But... Oh, there, oh, there you go. go. Got it. Okay, so we're running up for the uh, start here. I mean, John, what do you, you think it's, um, you think, I mean, is, is the difference been like who got the economy and the upgrades out early? You think it's just been pure, like they somebody rolled more damage? Just what do you dice, use? man. Like, you're, <laughs> well, like, you're, if, you get, if you get your balance taken away or if you hit a good balance, it just changes the game, right? Yeah. Like, okay. I, I had a game where I killed my opponent's Balatik and Night Sister in the first turn. Oh, okay. Wow. And reactivate my bat like I reactivate my ba- my Balatique and I roll in three damage and finish off the his Balatique and it's just like how often does that roll come up? Yeah. Right? Canada take my energy. Is that <laughs> is that Kirby in there? I'm not sure. Getting ready for the last round. That's one of, one of the interesting things about uh, VTTV because they do multiple games is that in the middle of the Destiny finals, the Netrunner players are saying, hey, where's, where's our Netrunner? <laughs> I don't Netrunner. blame them at all. But oh, Netrunner's working off an old meta too. There's so. the friends in low places again. I mean, it's it's a decent mulligan. If you can hit an Enrage or a, is another friends in low places in his hand? 
So she's not going to bother playing. Yeah, you can hold on to that one or reroll. Jamie, it is currently 1 1. Brian won the first, John won the second. Bala roll it in for some solid damage. See, again, I, I don't. Like, I would ping the Night Sister and reroll that once. Yeah. That's three damage, one man. One three, yeah. And you gla as Bala, you gladly, you gladly throw that in there. I mean, like, in, in another deck. You'd want to reroll the F11 because two sides of it are, are modified, but against a Night Sister, no, you just you don't. You just don't. Yep. You, okay, he wants to take away those Night Sister rerolls in the future, so jams three on her right sure, away. Sure, why not? I mean, if you want to just get to make her think about the effect she could have saved. That's the that thing. thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the thing is you know you. So F11 <laughs> over F11. That's uh, a weird weird choice. I mean, you could roll. You could roll an FN first, and then discard to reroll, and you get the same effect. <laughs> For another first turn aftermath. <clears throat> I don't like aftermath turn one. Although. Why not? I mean, in this case, it's it's alright. I, I would rather get something that's getting my damage going, right? But if you're gonna play it at all. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. No problem, Jamie. Uh, okay, so wow, some some really solid damage rolls coming from John this time. Um, with, so this, again, this not Night a Sister ping. is in trouble. No, no ping on the Night Sister. On the plus, on the two, could have saved herself four damage. I seems. Oh yeah. Oh wow. I didn't even see the plus two there. For that a really seems like a. That's just a strange play. That's just tuck and rolling there. Because now you have a dead knight. Just sister. take her out. Because you could have saved, or at least yeah, absolutely made it a lot harder. Right. That's a very Bala bad and Bala start. Reddies. I mean, he's sitting on five resources, and you might have a balance in him. I haven't. Seen friends and low on a rocket launcher. So, I mean, a rocket launcher with two resources left can do some pretty heavy lifting, but. And you don't really want a Night Sister it. Yeah, but you got to catch up a whole character. <laughs> yes, no. this is true. Well, John wow, is not triple too redeploy fast. weapons. <laughs> For sure. Not anymore. All over top of each other. I don't know what John has against Rocket Launcher days. He's always trying to knock him. Yeah. Takes the resources. Does he, have, does he have a three cost in here? To complete the day. Uh... One card. Reroll that rocket launcher, I guess. I don't know, Cam. I, I think that he just w was ready to kiss the Night Sister goodbye and get that resource. But yeah, I mean, like a 33% chance of actually losing the Night Sister. Yeah. Yeah. On hitting uh, the uh, the range damage side, it sounds. I'd, I'll take that chance any day. Discards to reroll the rocket launcher. Yeah, he wants it back. But, and, but if you've got no serious, luck. serious plans for that one resource, then I guess kiss it goodbye. But I mean, he's got no cards left. He's got no cards left. The rocket he, launcher just kind of crapped out on him. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. That's going to be brutal. John's got no cards, too. Oh, wow. So we end he's up... Got, he's got a Night Sister. Put a shield in the Night Sister. Night Sister. And we Bala. end up with one damage versus eight in the first round. Yeah. You can you can roll in FN here. Get a pay side or something. Oh, and FN still has to roll in. So this is going to yeah. be like more like ten damage this is, to Well, one. John had three two-cost weapons and a three-cost weapon. Yeah. It's not bad. That's handy. Yeah. Yeah, you can't ask for much better than this. Not at all. This is this is why John wins tournaments. He's <laughs> he, the dice are with him, man. He's just. So now, uh, where does he put this three? I go to Bala. Yeah. FN's got two shields. You just you take it, Bala. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, FN can do some pretty serious stuff, but. But yeah, it's five more life to get rid of him. Like yeah, exactly. Bala. And, and you have your own Bala to. And, wow. And with four resources coming oh, next no, he round. Oh no, goes into FN. Okay. Interesting. I mean, if you can kill FN before he sees his redeploys or, or yeah. puts too many of them out, that's great. But oh, yeah, and he's in. But so this, safe, and he's in such a commanding position, even after oh, yeah. his first turn, it's like. Yeah, it's, he's. It's not he's, over, but he's this is well, he's brutal. turned into no damage versus. <laughs> yes. Versus, versus two shields and one character. damage and another seven. Yeah. Technically, John did like ten damage because he, he overkilled yep. the Night Sister by one. Yeah. So uh, Brian's got a balance here, which could get ugly. He's got a balance what, of four, four weapons, four yeah. weapons, and a balance. That's uh, that's what you want to see right now. Yep. I think he needs some really good rolls to get back into this. But he's gonna roll pay sides. Oh, nope. resources. That's another great. resource. Yeah, glad take to take it. it. Take it. Ambush Throw into those another. Knuckles. Yeah. And you can yeah, three discard. Hmm. One discard. It's the one discard. Less good. So he's got the uh, Z6 to end up with. I would just resolve the discard and then put the IQA on top, I guess. But I don't think John really cares what he hits right now. Oh, oh. Okay, I take oh, it back. Oh, he paid. Z6 okay. is pretty good. Yeah. IQA. The chain continues. Which chain? 
But you'll notice something. How many redeploy weapons on FN? Oh, uh, yeah. Zero. With, yeah. I mean, there's a there's a, there's one coming, but yeah. Okay, stop I, it. I'm always torn on that disrupt on the IQA. Like the magic number is three, but yeah, it's not uh, damage. It still seems. I mean, it's got a resource side. It's got two damage sides. I mean, with FN can only sitting on one weapon, I think it's valid. Yeah, um, especially if you're playing. Especially if you're going to Yeah, overriding it. You don't want to. Okay, let's see if this can. Well. <laughs> Yeah. Might as well. Take, yeah, you got a balance, right? You want money. Like, if you can get it. Does he have balance in hand? Yeah. Yep. So, if you get enough money this round, right? <clears throat> and this is why you play friends in low places, but man. After the, all those weapons, he's sitting on no damage, right? He didn't do any extra damage. That's right. a fair point, yeah. I mean, at some point, all the discards and utility and money, <laughs> you need the damage. Yes. Or else you run out of deck. Yeah. Uh, but okay, some solid damage there. Four. Just take a shield. You don't want to ping the rocket launcher. He's got a doubt in hand he's thinking about using. It's not bad on a rocket launcher. I guess. I mean, you got a 50 50 chance it'll be. Okay, it was the could same. Three anyway. But it, at Whatever. least it could have been two, it could have been two blanks. But. Yeah, I mean, if he's got any. Like, Brian probably would have rolled Enteral and Bala first to get those modified sides to connect with it, so... Yeah, that's true. Sorry? Uh, he... I believe so. Uh, he had two. Yeah. He took one, yeah. See, there's the plus there's two. There's the modified, yeah, you're right. John's got to have an upgrade in there somewhere. That's, yeah. a, that's a good one. Last card in hand. <laughs> I think he's got one more, maybe. Is he holding it? Yeah. It's hard okay. to tell. He keeps just on I mean, he lost two, and then he played... Yeah, he should have one more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bell is showing a resource. So I guess why not get it back on the character? Yeah. Fix it all there. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, is he gonna, right. But is he gonna balance for rerolls? He can overwrite. Rerolls? He can overwrite. You're right. Yeah. He's gonna balance. That's not bad. Uh yeah. We have the dollar. That's pretty good. I guess Brian. I mean, who's no. Nice is he nice going to get five to kill Bala this turn? I don't think so. Well, it could be six if John takes the shield, too. Yeah. So, so it's going to be really tough for him to equalize that? this round. I lean my head over to see the cards <laughs> like it's going to help on a, on a two-dimensional plane. Good job. Oh, yeah, and I think it's highly because the Night Sister can just keep, keep taking damage to avoid damage. Well, it depends on what if N rolls in first, right? If he yeah. rolls in and resolves immediately, then, then no. I'm not sure John has any other plans for the resource. I mean, I can't think of anything better. But uh, this could be interesting if, if Brian gets his uh, redeploys on, on FN before Bala dies, because then all of a sudden you've got Bala killing Bala, readying, killing maybe the Night Sister. It's, it, it's possible to make a comeback from that, but. Possible, but. He's got no pace sides. A lot of damage in one round, like even this deck. Yeah. Two resources is not unwelcome when you've got a handful yeah, of cards. Yeah, a handful of... But does he have a handful of weapons? I see an aftermath. I think, I think there's a two, flank. two weapons. In okay, the other two are weapons. Okay. I get, John needs to roll his nicest for eventually here. There she comes. See what I mean? One damage, yeah. Rolls are good. <laughs> So there's a flank in Brian's hand he can't pay for or play it because these yeah. guys are all exhausted. There's a, it's like a flamethrower. Aftermath and a flamethrower. Aftermath and something else. Uh, is that the F11? I'm not sure. Maybe. F11s are inconsequential when you've got no range damage size for the yeah. most part. That's, uh, that's a thing. Just wait till he takes a resource and then ping no, it. I think the last system. one could be another ride control for Don. They could end with another ride control for Don. That would be handy. Yeah. Because he's going to need to <laughs> need it soon. Aftermath, aftermath. He's already. Sure. Okay. So I think uh, John is out of cards. He's but with that flamethrower die there, he's got to he's got to ping it with the night sister. Yeah. Okay, so two resources to pay for it. So night sister is probably gonna yep get on the on the. On the it's the four for one, 
and Mel is well, like seven. Mel's close, but but he does. I think he has. I don't know. I think that was the racket over Uh or it might be the F11. The F11 is awfully risky to put that down to overwrite to send that in. But well, yeah, because there's one. But it is side. redeploy. There's and only you're one. about to die. Potentially four. Four is a lot. Well, you next gotta turn, hit one and six I mean, on a rocker. F11 could do it, right? Yeah, but you got you got time. Nope, rocket launcher. Okay, sorry. It was a, it was a red card. Yeah. Do that. What again? What again? Oh, boom. Got what needed. It's better than the special for John, anyway. Yeah. Two resources and ready ability. This is this is the kind of stuff that happens if you have a second balance in hand. You just yeah. you just tuck in and go home. Well, <laughs> Balotic uh, wanting to do a lot of damage. Yep. Oh, I, uh, dump yeah. Dump that flank. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, Rerolling both is the right call. Yeah. At least you'll get something out of it. So was that a one and a resource? Yeah. That's a lot of money. <clears throat> I think John's just got to re uh, just got to roll in here and try to. Oh yeah. Try to end. end it. One. Try to. He needs to get four, but at well, least play whatever weapon he has to try to. Well, Especially if he has ambush. Anything, yeah, anything that could potentially Pro kill. Problem is the big damage sides on the flamethrower and the uh, the uh, sorry the, the lightsaber are both pay sides. So if you put it a two cost weapon, then you got a problem. So I don't think live or knucklers. Okay, that's that's definitely one of the things he wanted for sure. I can do three. Yeah, I mean. Pay a little cash. Two or three, two or three easy. Yeah. And then one more and thing. It, and it's I, don't, I don't think you're set to see any side on this, really, except for the blank, I should say. Yeah. Uh, it's two if he wants the two. I don't I, know what else he got in his hand that he wants to play. But it seems like taking the two. It's pay one and do two, and then if you've got a anything, hold up blaster a lot of things or something. Can do two. There, I see one, at least one die card in there. Two to defend. You got you to end him. Like If you can do it before he gets another action, that yeah. rocket launcher is gone, even if he's got a Z6 in his hand. Absolutely. Oh, another. That's, that's handy. Yeah. 50 50. Another. <laughs> nope. Mm, I don't know if he picked this. Maybe. He's got another upgrade in his hand. Oh, okay. There, so, which he probably has to save. Just resolve it. But I mean, just do the one, not the two. I don't know. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> yes, sir. Hit that redeploy weapon. That is not a redeploy weapon. That's a rocket launcher. That's, uh, a, that's a good way to finish. Yeah. 66%. Yeah. Here comes the blank. <laughs> uh, boom. Nope. Boom. Way now over the top. FN. Yeah. And now bal has got Bal's money to pay for. Which is he just can take his money, go buy a mansion, and live in the hills somewhere <laughs> by himself. Like, screw this. Screw this. Go hunt for Han Solo I'm out all here. day long. Trying I, to catch that scoundrel. That's right. So as a flamethrower, and yeah. I don't yeah. see any redeploys in there, but... So you dump on the flamethrower, try to kill the Night Sister, try to get another... Oh, activation. there it is. So yeah, there we go. If, if John hadn't killed him, that lightsaber yeah. would come over for They're free. Down. And not that it really matters that much. When you've got... Uh, I'm tempted to say you roll in the Night Sister first, because she's got three damage yeah. on her. Well, you she's you gonna could be kill the, the Night Sister. She's going to be the one that's going to go for it. Yeah, exactly. And you want to resolve the Night no, Sister. No, you keep... You keep Plowing down all your weapons. <laughs> Cards in hand are for chumps. Yeah. Party's over. That's a good roll. Yeah. Oh, John's, man. John's rolls never cease to amaze me, man. That's destiny for you. Oh, okay. He's got. He can pay for one side. Yeah, so. now he's going to roll on pay sides. Yeah. <laughs> but that. I got I to gotta get the Night Sister in. Resolve her die. Well, he's rolling, he's rolling. He could just end it here. But I was going to say, if, yeah, if, yeah. if Evan had a melee side, that would almost be over from a claim. But two more. One yeah. card left in hand. But if Bala kills the Night Sister and readies up, that's... I mean, he doesn't have the money for all the stuff he's going to do, mm -hmm. but he can focus to, like... Well, Aftermath. If he kills, he, he's got all the money oh, he needs if he oh, kills Jesus, the Night yeah. Sister. That's a good point. So he could... This is... Uh, oh, okay. Wow, that's... Uh, he's that's got no base side for the plus two, but... He's got four four damage on the Night Sister. Yeah. That's why I say you roll the Night Sister in first. But he's going to ping them. Uh, he can ping to stop, but not really. Then he dies in two actions instead of one. Uh, ping for the flamethrower and FN dies instead of instead of the Night Sister. Rolling her in? What? Why even? He's hoping he's going to go for a Night Sister. 
Oh, Hoping it's going to go for FN, but yeah. See, this is why you roll the Night Sister in first, right? Now you kill the Night Sister. No, but you can't. Not in one action. It takes two, he's right? Got four, oh, he's got four three, three. Sorry, I thought I saw two damage. Oh, I see. Three. Yeah. Uh, this, could be, this could be the game right here. If he had rolled in the Night Sister first. And then ready. Oh, oh I. Oh, he only did have two. Okay, I okay. take it back. Okay, yeah. It, I guess it was just a, a shadow. Yeah, so you did only have that's two. That's a big so, deal. Yeah, it's huge, because now it's two extra damage. Val's got three life. I mean, why would you... Plays the aftermath I would have discarded instead of re-rolling? Two unblockable is a dead... What's a dollar going to do? I don't know. I guess because he was dying anyway, get the dollar, but... Nah, because... Oh, Valor like, Reddies, yeah. This is going to get ugly. He's got two cards left still, too. Oh, but it's, it's 11 damage. I mean, sure, maybe. Well, if he re-rolled instead of the aftermath, then he's got shields. He's got unblockable yeah. on the, no, the I agree. lightsaber. I, I don't know what the dollars. Disrupt. What he needs right now. Yes, I don't know. John just needs to claim. I mean, though. his current upgrades are kind of a weird mix too. Like he'll overwrite the next turn, but I mean, yeah. it's a lot of plus sides. Well, and there's that don't the match. plus sides on on Bala that can't yeah. connect with anything. Yeah. So both of them have a lot of plus sides. That they're not you gotta just connect. pitch everything here. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Don't be roll Bala. Come there's on. no. Why? Why would you keep the plus two? There's one. Yeah. The Bala's die is the only one that can do it. <laughs> yeah. And there's no focuses to help. And he's. he's just gonna John <laughs> claimed he's. We can't even see what he's rolling, but he kept, not, apparently he wasn't happy with he it. He didn't pull any dice back. That's not good. And when they don't come back out of the dice tray, <laughs> it's because they're no good. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Wow. That's a huge whiff. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing. If you reroll that other ballad die, you get a focus. Yeah. You get three damage. Yeah, or four damage with the flamethrower, it's, and it's a game. But now, like, how many how many yeah. uh, FN upgrades can kill? Yeah. Like a rocket launcher has a 50-50 shot of killing him. Uh, flamethrower. Flamethrower would... Uh, lightsaber. Yeah. IQA. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, if you don't have stuff. anything good in your hand, just activate first. Roll an FN first, especially if you got a he doesn't like you or something in hand. Yeah, because no, he can't do it with his upgrades. Wow, yeah, that was it all came down to the last turn roll, right? There's a holdout blaster in there. That's not a bad call. Although, I mean, it's 11 still really tough. Like, you'd have to, he'd have to go the other way and get a really good roll. To yeah, for sure. There it is. To do. Seven, nine. This, could, this could be it. Yeah, could uh, Nope. I was going to say, that was a vibro knife. How the hell do you roll a discard? <laughs> and now you activate FN next, or? Yeah. Uh, is any I, other weapons? I think I see an F11D in there and another oh, IQA. F11D, is that going to help you? Better no, just roll I, I, out. not at all. No, right you later, roll in because all you need to do is get three two, damage three on, damage, on yeah. any of those dice, or yeah. unblockable on... What? Well, oh, you can get the unblockable. I guess, yeah. Yeah, you can get the unblockable, and it matches well, the, everything. The, other, all the, the other sides. The pay side on the on the rock, uh, the uh, oh, that sucks. Yeah, the pay side on the um, uh, the lightsaber would have killed killed him too. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like he's re-rolling like three times. I don't know if I missed anything. Uh, so he's got five damage. Okay, it's a start, but For and sure. a shield. You gotta roll an FN here. <laughs> a shield might don't be. don't discard to re-roll the IQA by itself. Oh, he's flanking them. Okay, that makes okay. me feel better. There's some shields on Bella that could shields. be completely invalidated if John rolls a special. Yeah. Roll Two an chances. FN here. Or one chance. There's a balance yes. in hand. I don't. know. All his dice have resolved practically. He doesn't like you for the disrupt. Could help. Oh. These rolls are hot garbage. Yeah. Oh, hot and money garbage. side with no money. Oh man. Yes, sir. You don't really care about that anyway. You want the you want the uh, IQA specials. Yeah. So resolve the two and say that he doesn't like you for the IQA special. I don't. He can't resolve the two though. No, That's I mean it. on the Brian side. Oh, on Brian side. Sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah. Not a bad call. Fast. I mean. I don't think he has two he doesn't like, does he? Hot garbage, once again. Yep. So, Brian can't claim yet because he needs to watch the re-roll. 
Yeah, no, no. I mean, John, claimed. John's got the problem here because he needs to basically, he needs to hit both IQA specials or a plus three would work. No, just one. It's unblockable, right? Right, but if he's got, if Brian's got the, oh yeah, 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 he doesn't, he doesn't know yet. Like you then. Yeah, but. If he hits a plus three, uh, then Bella's at seven. Seven, yeah. No shields. I mean, he's got to get rid of this. This is a dramatic right? ending. Yeah, say say what you will about Rainbow Nines. This is a very good, very good match thus far. Uh, what else he got in the hand? Not anything. He's got to balance some logistics. I mean. So John's gonna claim and resolve the one. Yeah. Rolling in first. I mean, I guess. Yeah, rolling in first is pretty valuable. It's a big deal, but I mean, that flamethrower. He, he, pa he passed. He had four rerolls for the flamethrower. Wait, he didn't. He he got the. He didn't do damage. He claimed the battlefield and didn't damage. Did he resolve it? Uh, there's still three shields. Yeah. I mean, it, it's optional. He doesn't have to, right? So he can't tell. He can't say anything. Right? He doesn't have to resolve. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's the thing. You, you walk over there, you go. So when you claimed, did you resolve that range? No, damage? you can't. Yes, that. yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here come the IQAs. Boom. Boom. Gone. Done. He doesn't. Uh, he, and he doesn't like he's dead Flank now. Is the only thing that will do it. No. No. Oh, no, he's got the ambush weapon. He's got an ambush in and he doesn't like you. It's his only chance. It's, what? it's not FN, he can't do that. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. It's game over. It's game over. It's like keep him in the dice tray, he says. Wow. So there it is, John Chan, the John 17th Chan? place seed that squeaked into the wild card slot. Yeah. Made the Cinderella story right there. And Came wins, up and wins win for the whole Canada. Thing. It was destined to, destiny. And keeps the trophy in Canada, and I'm going to see it every damn week and be bitter. <laughs> It'll be great. Can't wait.